Guys, what's up? So I think I'm live. Let me check to see if this shit is working. And if it's working, that'll be great. If not, I don't know what to tell you. Let's see what the fuck. Let's see if I'm okay. I'm, it's working. So let me. I am going to. If you guys. If you guys are ready in here, I apologize. I am just getting things set up. This is the first time I'm screen sharing and live. Nice. So if I don't answer your questions fast enough, I apologize because I'm going to be sniping live for you guys. I'm going to share this video real quick on Facebook. I should do this at night. Yeah, Kwesi, so mindless noob. Noob, Kwesi finish the, um, Kwesi finish the fucking tracking today so he said he will actually post it at noon tomorrow we had this conversation a few minutes ago and he's actually traveling right now he gets his destination soon why the fuck is this so slow natasha is the internet slow the fuck so this shit decided to go slow right when i want to do this live shit so anyway, I'm gonna start. Hopefully, this shit will speed up. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna be basically sniping live for you guys. <coughs> Those of you guys who are not part of DSHINI, this is the DSHINI screen here, right? And I'm gonna show you exactly how DSHINI works, how we use DSHINI to snipe items, and maybe in a future date, I'm gonna try to do like three lives a week. And maybe in the future, I would, once I get this thing down, I would have some, I'll just you back. Yeah, you can email me for the personal. Like, so I have more than, on my main account, I have more than 10,000 feedback. And yes, you can snipe it out the Ashini. And I will post this video. I need to stop answering these fucking questions so I can start getting to work. <laughs> So let me just share this, share the link to the live video. Yeah, you can snipe manually without the SME. But like right away, when I decide to fucking go live for you guys, the shit decides to work slow. The shit sucks. But let me just post, I'm just posting the links in the group. Natasha, can you do me a favor? Can you just tell, tell Nelson that if he's uploading, uploading any videos to stop for right now, please? Yeah, so tell them upstairs if they're uploading any videos, just stop for right now. Sorry, I, I muted my my um, my voice for a second. So if you guys, I'm not gonna share the um link, but if you any of you guys are in the honest shop shippers group, do me a favor and share the link for me, please. That would be greatly appreciated. So this is the Ashini screen. I'm not gonna do any um basic training on DSHINI in this video, but I would in the future, okay? Um, so the basics is to start on eBay. So, okay, so before I start, right? And Vanessa just said, don't snipe, don't snipe. Um, yeah, I have to stop twigging my hair. The shit is falling out, make sure. Um, Vanessa said to don't snipe her, her store live. So I can't, 
I'm actually, you're gonna see some of my stores in this whole sniping process. So I'm not going to tell you what's my stores or not, but I am going to, I can't promise that I'm not gonna snipe you guys live. If you're in the issue, you need the issue, he's not gonna pull up any data from your store. So that you're kind of protected. But outside of that, like, it's kind of like game on at this point. So let me get, let you guys, I hope that you guys could tell me if everything is working fine. It looks so on my end. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, so you guys know I usually start with men's mountain bike. I could start with some other shit. But um, so I just want to find, the thing with men's mountain bike is I just want to find one person that's actually a drop shipper. When I automatically, when I see someone sold 191, I'm not too excited because he may or may not be a drop shipper, like his margin may be really low. Um, there's a sponsored link, this sponsored. I don't want to, me personally, I don't want to start with someone using sponsored um, postings. I haven't actually never seen this bike before. So this first part of the process is simply to find other drop shippers. I hope you guys are hearing me because y'all stop messaging. Yeah, I've seen this dude before. His margins are fucking low as fuck. So I'm just searching for the description. Okay, yeah, sweet. I'm just searching for the description. So I found one in Kmart, one in Amazon. CS is the same thing. When I search for that description, right? And because I'm an international, it's going to open. It's not going to open the right one. Hold on. The only thing I want to know if this is a drop shipper. So the bike is unavailable on Amazon. Sears, what's the price? What is the fucking price? So the price is way too high on sales. Let me just check. Let me go straight to Walmart. I didn't do this before. So let me see what's the deal. I got 27.5 inch. Mongoose spike. I also opened this one. He's top rated plus. So who knows if he's a drop shipper? Wow, fifty-seven y'all motherfuckers in there and only have four likes. Give me some love for fuck's sake. Just like my video. The fuck? <laughs> These bike sellers are really like. I want to start from scratch because I want to show you guys. So look at this, right? This bike is $99.99. And this came from this dude who's selling it for 114 So I could assume he's a drop shipper. Let's see if that's the same fucking bike. $99.99. Shipping is unavailable, so it's out of stock. But I could tell that this shit is cheaper, so I could assume he's a drop shipper. Although it's out of stock, because I found it for less, <coughs> I want to assume he's a drop shipper. So what I want to do is I now take his name here. Go into Diashini. Where's this shit? Get seller. Thanks for the likes, guys. So, okay, sorry, I skipped a point. So, in the Ashini, there are a ton of links. Again, I'll do some, some beginner videos on the Ashini. But I went to get seller items. I put the name of the seller. All I did, remember, all I did was check to see if that seller was a drop shipper. I put his name here. 
I put, I want, so this is the cell I want to run. I want all his items to sold at least four times in the past 30 days. I didn't put a minimum price and hit search. So what the Shini is now going to do, thanks for the likes, guys. We're up to 61, 63 fucking people. So hit a like on that fucking video. So what I'm doing is I put the name of that guy in the Shini and I put, I want at least four items. I want his items to sell at least four times. And the Shini is now plummeting through his fucking listing. Yeah, she doesn't have a free trial. It's a $15 trial. But what I'm thinking about doing is the next, once I get a hang, once I get a hang of these um of these live videos, I'll start giving out one from the UK. How much is GSLE? Okay, so once I start getting a hang of this, uh, each live video I'll give away a subscription to Diashini along with a one hour um one-on-one -on -one training from me. So they, I'm not doing it in this video. This is my first fucking live. I'm now used to this shit. So yeah. So that's funny. So this guy actually gave us no results. So what I, what I want to guess, so that might have been a DSH, you remember, but let me just check one other thing. Let me just find any, so I could check two things there. So because nothing came up, that could mean either he's a DSH, you remember, or he didn't, none of his items sold at least four times. So I'm gonna, what I do is I went into search by seller, advanced seller, put the name of the seller, click show completed listings in the past 15 days, and then I'll see how many of his items actually sold. So he may not, because he only has 22 items that sold in the past, that not even sold, but he does have a ton of items that that sold in the past 15 days. So what I did is I went into the &E and lowered the amount. So remember the first time I ran him, I put, I want items to sell like this four times in the past 30 days, right? Then because nothing came up, I just want to get some more data on the seller. So I put one. So while this is running, I could also do this. Where's the shit? Not competition report, competitor research. So remember, when, I, when I'm saving my sellers, I want to have as much data on them. So I'm going to see, this is another um, tool in Diashini. You put in the name of the seller. Sorry if I'm going fast, but this video is going to be recorded, and you can watch it over, right? So I put the name of the seller, and I put last 30 days. So what Diashini is going to do is get the data for him, how much money, how much, I, like, what he sold in the past 30 days. So let Diashini fuck with him right there. And then this is still running through. I just realized I'm not in the Facebook group. <laughs> okay, as to, I'll, I'll approve you in the Facebook group. Thanks for the likes for those of you guys who hit the like button. And I hope one of you shared the video in the Honor Chop Shippers group. Right, so as I suspected, right? So as you can see, if you look at this, I had changed my criteria. I used the same dropshipper, but I just wanted to see if he had any items that sold at least once. So I put in one, so it found 16 items, right? So what I could go to my research, where is it? My research. This is one cell I run. So, Quasi is a boss. <laughs> so these are all the items that were sold, right? He sold one for two, one that was sold twice, once. This item was sold twice, this item sold three times. And it also, it shows you if the price is going up and down because this item was sold three times. So let's check it out. To see if we could find the source of the item. So he's not in the Ashini. This is such a fucking. So I don't sell this item anymore, but I've sold this item for like two fucking years. This is an Intex inflatable fucking couch bed. 
So what, sorry, so what I did is I opened, the, I'm going so fast, I'm just used to this. I opened the, the link and I just clicked the, the image, right? So what it's gonna do is, it's gonna do an image search. I told you it was an in-text. And this sells on like every fucking location, dude, to be honest. It's on Walmart. I'm just pulling up the Walmart and Amazon links. It's on Amazon. In text plot. So it's telling me it has user new from 43. So this is new. It's weird. It is very strange that the main one didn't show up. So I'm going to search this again in Amazon just because the main link to it didn't show up. So there's this. Oh, is it for $59.99? But there's someone that has this for 43. Let me also see how much is at Walmart. Okay, so Walmart has it. So I think Walmart is out of stock, but I'm gonna search again because in text inflatable pull out so far. So there's one for 69. Fuck, did this really go down to $42? But it's not, if you look, this is not the same couch. Eh? You have to be careful because if you look at the images for this couch, you have to make sure you listen to the exact same thing. But you do have a couple options. So this one is $69.96. This one is, I wouldn't use this because this is not sold by Walmart. This is sold by a third party seller. I have no fucking clue how he's getting. I should be $42. This is sixty nine ninety six. But if we go back to your listing, if you look at the image, that's not the right item. So we have to find the right fucking item. So this is the item here. So right, I found it. It is $59.99 with free shipping the person has four feedback so this is an interesting situation right it's free shipping this is by a third party seller let me see how much is being sold for on ebay how much was this this is being sold for 58.99 so this is not the item or maybe it is, but I haven't found the right source. That's even here. So stuff like this, I wouldn't even remember. This guy does not have, let me see if I find it on Walmart just in case. Because this is the, this is the exact item on Walmart. Hello, so far. This is the item, but I can't compete with price. <laughs> That's not the fucking item. Where's the correct one? All right, so this is the correct one here. But it's shipped by a third party seller. So I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even mess with this. I mean just and this is why I got tied up wasting time. Because I don't like to be beat. So I'm going to keep searching. I'm just going to sit for a couple more minutes so you guys can see what. You know what else I could do? So I could open the actual, I could open the eBay listing. Let me see how much this motherfucker sold the shit for. So he sold it for $59 in the past 30 days, right? I'm gonna 
gonna do a Google search for the um for the item. And if he's good, he would use a description for a different item. Ah. <laughs> So here's that motherfucker. So I found it, right? Sold by Kmart for $43.95. So I found it. And this is the thing. So if you notice, when I did a Google image search, I didn't find it. But when I, that's another option you could do. You could come back and do a Google search for the description. So I found that motherfucker. So in the actually you now, all I want to put in the supplier link. The price, what was the fucking price? $43.95. So I want to put that in here. That was pretty easy. I don't know, I didn't plan this shit, right? I'm doing this shit live for you motherfuckers. And again, can can someone share this in the honest shop shippers group? I didn't. So right. So check this out. When I put in, when I put in the the seller price, DSGNU automatically gives you some data here. It gives you the profit. So this calculates the profit after eBay fees, right? After eBay and PayPal, PayPal fees. So it's eighteen percent. I am somewhat of a fucking savage. So I could give a fuck about 18%. I'll take this bitch down to maybe 11%. So if I lower this price, let me see if I bring it down to 55. Wow, you see, I'm a fucking psychic. I have a degree in math, I'm not really a psychic. But if I lower this to 59.97, exactly 11%, I'll make five bucks. And I'm thinking about two, a couple of things. Because this is a Kmart and Sears item, the more and more I sell, means that the more and more I'll come back to Kmart and Sears and buy this bitch. And then Kmart and Sears give a lot of points, a lot of shopping points, up to like 20%. No, and so I use Shop. So I saw the question, what about taxes and shipping? Shipping is free. I use Shop Your Way, but shipping is free. So I don't have to worry about that. And because of Sears and Kmart, the amount of points that I get, if you're using Sears and Kmart as a source, you get a lot of cash back directly from them. So that usually covers um, that usually covers the sales tax. Fuck, I closed this shit. I'm an idiot. Because I need the, um, the description from the item. So what I would do, let me show you guys a little trick. Let me find the exact item. Because I'm not going to use the description from Sears and Kmart. I'll explain why in a second. So I want to find the exact item somewhere else. Maybe on Walmart. And the reason why I'm doing that is because if the guys search on fucking search for the description and I use a description from Walmart, that one would come up. That's not the right one. Where the fuck is this thing? I'm just being a, a horrible human being. You see, so this, this is the item. This is the same fucking item, right? So I prefer, prefer to use this description from here. It's a little trick that you guys are gonna fucking Where's the description? 
So if I use a description from somewhere else, when someone comes in and search my fucking description, they're going to be leaded to Amazon, not to sales. But there's some details that I prefer to put, so I might put this. Uh, but again, I don't want it to be exactly like sales. So inflatable. So what I might put, cut. I'll put this bitch on here. I just change up the description a little bit. So when they search, they may not. Just make it a little harder, right? That's not a foolproof way of doing this shit. Yes, it does. We actually fix the DSU tracking. It does automatically do that. Change the price at it and out of stuff. So all I do is hit save. On this page, you could remove images or add more images, right? I'm not going to add any more images. So I just hit save. You could add more images for a little boost in SEO. Yeah, you need to you do need to order the item, Ajay. All right, so the item is pretty much done, right? I could add it to eBay from here or just hit save. I'm not adding it to eBay because this I created this account simply to do these live these lives for you guys. So if you go on the first page, let me just show you. If you go on the first page, you could just hit add to my eBay account and that will be listed to eBay automatically, right? And then you keep it moving. I could also go back to this demi dude. You lazy motherfuckers have it easy because you all could copy. Yes, I'm responding to comments and I'm showing you guys what's going on. <laughs> you guys have this shit easy because you lazy motherfuckers come here and list the same thing. The challenge is it's not going to be very, it's going, these items are going to be very competitive if all of you list the same thing. So Jack, I don't use, okay, so two things, Jack. I don't use Amazon as a huge supplier. Um... Amazon accounts anyway, so I don't ever really come across. I'm not listening to this fucking account. So this is another item from the guy. I think these, I used to sell, I may still sell the brown version to this fucking table. <laughs> That's funny. This is five piece, sixty two ninety nine. Let me see how much this motherfucker is selling this thing for. He's selling for ninety four ninety nine. What the fuck? I'm sure because the price went up. What I did, I just opened his direct listing. So he's selling it for ninety four ninety nine. It sold five times. It sold three times in the past thirty days. It sold. So this is the thing. If you look, it sold at sixty two bucks. So chances are, what my guess is, the price went up recently. Should I snipe it? I don't know. I'm going to do a quick search if I find it anywhere else. I like doing these lives. It doesn't? So Sonny, if there's an issue with images, you have to open a support ticket. It should. So yeah, so it seems like it did get it from Amazon, right? But the price went up. The price is now sixty two ninety nine. So I will snipe it. Me personally. I will snipe the item just because I'm here already, right? Like, 
Where's this thing? That's not the one I want. So it's $62.99. Supply URL. There's no variance. Supply cost $62.99. Shipping is free. Save. All right, I'm guessing he just raised the price because his price went up, all right? So if I see 74 dollars that's a 10% margin. margin. I'll just leave it there for now until the price goes back down. But I see two things I need to do. So I'll copy. I'll copy his exact description. Actually, let me just copy it from Amazon, not be fucking late. I'll copy from here. Copy. I see one thing I have to change though. I'll show you guys in a second. Yeah, there's Joel. Well, Joel didn't come back yet, did he? No. Okay. All right, so one thing that I, I did, I want to show you guys is that this image has a watermark in it. So I need to remove it. So that you, can't, you can, but he can report you if you steal one of his images. Um, so I deleted that. Save. Yeah, Rodrigo is, is actually doing really well. He started to get sales like it's in 24 hours. So I found two items, right? But remember, one of the things, one of the things, we have an interview for a potential graphic designer that's coming in today. Yes, Diashini does have repricing. Yeah, does she speak English? Yeah, okay, sweet. <laughs> so y'all go, y'all could do it upstairs. And I'm doing a live right now. Yeah. So you talk to Ryan, Ryan upstairs, and then when I finish, I'll come. Rodrigo is in this bitch. Rodrigo, why didn't you come by the office today? Some motherfucker hit this like. Fuck you, whoever the fuck you are. So it's 66 of you motherfuckers. Give me a, a couple more likes to throw up the, that idiot that put this like, whoever the fuck you are. <laughs> yeah, let me get back to what the fuck I was doing. Right, so I found two items, right? So let me show you guys. Let me show you guys a couple of things in DSU to help get us sellers, right? So remember, if you guys, okay, so if you guys are watching this and have not done my free training, please go, there's a link to the free training in the description, right? Please go to the, the description of this video and do the free trainings. First link in the description because it's going to give you a lot of the basics that you need. But basically, when if you did the, the um, training, you would know that one of the main things that I teach you guys is to build a list of competing sellers and then systematically snipe it, right? So if you're starting from scratch, you have no fucking sellers. So let's, ah, fuck, I forgot to show you something. Remember? <laughs> so let me just show you this. I had to run the seller. There's another, there's another feature in the Ashini. 
I had to run this seller just to see what he's selling, like how much he's selling. So he has 125 listings. The average price is $72.33, and the total sales is $2,300. He's not that great, right? That's a, this is something, this is a sh if you have Shopee Spy, this is what Shopee Spy does. That's a cheaper software that we have. But if you have, um, but this comes with the issue, right? But anyway, let me get back to what the fuck I was saying. So I want to show you guys how to build an email list, uh, not an email list, fucking email, a seller's list, right? So you want to do get seller from title. Where's this bitch? Get seller from title. What that does is that if you take a title of an item that you, a title of any item, and you run it through get seller from title, it would find all the all the people on eBay selling it. Now, to, re, to find drop shippers, what you want to do is take the title of an item that you know is a drop ship item. So if you take those two items that we just found, the sofa and the fucking, and these tables, you'll find some other drop shipper. So let's do it. So get seller from title. You put in the eBay title here, and you hit search. So there's zero sellers because we have the one seller that used that exact title already. But what we can do is if we cut down, if we take off some of the words, we may find some sellers using with the beginning. So there's still none. Wow, that's an interesting title. I hardly ever get that. So we found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sellers with that piece of a title, right? But that's not interesting to me because it may or may not be dropship, right? But let me see what will happen here. So this is the other item we found that we know is dropship and we found some good margin on it. So if we put get seller from title here, we hit search. No, you can't snipe other DSGN members. Yeah, so I know like three people who pay for the s &E just so they wouldn't get sniped, to be honest. That's fucking nuts. So we, these are pretty unique titles. So if we put, I'm going to take off US because no one would fucking use US in the search, in my opinion. Let's see if we find anyone. So what we could also do is take all of his titles, right? We know he's a dropshipper, so we know that his titles are dropship items. So let's see if we get any sellers selling the same shit as his. So none, I'm gonna go through each one. I added from that, from that title of the fucking... So we found one, so that's tip. Top fashion. I need to go, guys. So let me just show you real quick. So if I go into my sellers, let's see tip top fashion. So let's run the seller. I just want to see how much he's selling first. I have no, no clue about this guy. He just, all I know is he used the same title of one of the titles I used. All right. And now I'll also do get, get seller type. No, get seller items. So that's his seller tipped up fashion. I want all the items sold four times. So he has a ton of items. That's interesting. So we leave that to run. While it's running, I'll also go on eBay. You, are, you guys have seen exactly what I do when I'm fucking working, right? I want to... Sorry that I'm not answering your, your stuff as fast enough, but I'm trying to do, like, a quick live. I hardly... Okay, some of these... 
Look like it could be drop shipped item. Yeah, this looks like. This is all a new ones. And I don't like to snipe items with options, to be honest. That's not my thing. So use a dropship, I see. That's, I'm seeing, the thing is, I've been doing this shit so long that I'm seeing items that I know are dropship fucking items. That's funny. But he may not have sold. What? And this is something you're gonna notice, right? So we found the fucking item, right? But this is something you're gonna notice. This is a white one, we have to find a black one. But if you snipe the item, so check this out. If you remember, we took the title of an item that was from Walmart, found other sellers with that same item, and then when I tried to snipe one of his items, sorry, we took an item that was from Kmart. Then when I tried to snipe another, when I tried to snipe another item, so I took a Kmart item, I used the title, I found another seller with that title, and I found an item from that seller, and it was also a Kmart item. So yeah. I know, dude, like this shit works. I wouldn't be sitting here showing you guys how to do this shit if this shit doesn't work. I must have nothing to do with my fucking time if that's what I want to do. Anyway, guys, I need to go finish this interview. And this was not a planned live, but I figured I'll do it just to see how it works. And this shit was sweet. So I'm going to do this three times a week. I'm going to send out notifications when I'm going to do it. But yeah, guys, sorry to cut the stuff short. You got a, a, a fucking um, a preview. Hit the like button. There's 67 of you. Hit the fucking like button, guys. Share the video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe, please. What is going to happen is that I'm going to fucking... Oh, sweet, thanks. Someone on this took off their dislike. I'm going to... And every other... um, What do you call it? In every other fucking live that I do, I am going to... I'm looking at the wrong screen. In every other live I do, I'm going to give away a free lifetime membership to DSGV and also double it up with a one-hour one-on-one training with me. So I can show you guys, answer all your questions. But if I do that, I need to record the hour and post it on YouTube. But that's what's going to happen. I'm going to give out, should I give out one free every live? I'll give out a free at least once a week. All right? Anyway, love you guys. Travel well. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for staying up with me, guys. Sorry I had to cut this short, but I need to interview this girl because I need another um, graphic designer. And have a good one. Hopefully I can figure out how to fucking stop this live. That's kind of funny. All right, later.